Hello everyone, this is Mike from Virtual PM just coming out with another Azure DevOps training video. Today we're going to be talking about showing percentage of work items completed in Azure. There are several ways to do this, but uh, today we're going to be talking about how to use the display rollup progress bar in your backlogs to be able to properly calculate how much percentage completed you have on all of your work items. So to do this, you actually have a couple of prerequisites. First, you must have a good direct link parent to parent child relationship to make this work. So you want to definitely make sure anything that you want to calculate has a parent to child relationship and hopefully you're following that hierarchy of epic feature user story and so on. Um, the roll up progress bar will not work with other types of links. So like a related link, it's not going to work. You got to have that parent and child re relationship. Um, Right now, while we're recording this video, it does not support effort, story points, or size fields. Hopefully one day it will, but right now it's only uh, dealing off of um, just total numbers of the uh, percentage complete. To be able to turn this on for your backlog, you want to select your view option where you actually want this to show. I suggest start with the epic level and you can add this to the other levels of your backlog. Next, you're going to ensure that the toggle switches are for in progress items and completed child items are on. Next, you're going to go ahead and select the column options, hit the plus sign, add the roll up column, and then select from the quick list the progress by all work items. And that's it. Um, and the system should refresh and show you the percentages. But let's go to the backlog and show you exactly what I'm talking about. Okay, so as you can see, I'm here in a, in a demo project, and here's my backlog. I'm at the epic level. So those toggle switches that I was talking about is underneath the view options. You want to make sure that these both are on. Once those both are on, go ahead and click options, column options, select the add rollup column. Uh, go ahead and select from the pick list and then progress by all work items. As you guys can see here, there's a lot of more options here. Um, to get a little bit more finite detail, but I think this one's going to be the best starter for anybody so they can actually see what progress is going on in their project. Um, of course, then you can also configure a few things a little bit differently on the second option. So once you have that, click OK. System's going to refresh, and then as you can see, I'm starting to see a progress complete. So as I open up my tree, it's actually calculating for my features, and it also calculates for my user stories. So that'll continue on down, down the line as you expand. Uh, you can do this for all of your different levels of your backlog, like I said, but I think this is gonna be the best um, start for you guys and it'll give you good visibility of what's kind of going on in your projects. If you guys like what I'm putting out, please give me a like and leave a comment below if there's something that you have a question on or you wanna um, maybe have a video on, I can definitely um, do that for you guys. Also, if you like what I'm putting out, please feel free to subscribe. Thank you very much. Have a great day.